Hey everyone, welcome to an unboxing video I've been looking forward to doing. Well, I guess I haven't actually been doing these for 10 years, but I first found out about Ghibellini cameras around about 2013. I don't remember exactly when, but I think it was about then. And I was like, I cannot wait to use one of those. And so four years ago, almost I think to the week, I bought the um, Proxima, the entry level Ghibellini. And I love it. I love it. It's one of my favorite. It's, it's definitely my favorite large format camera, easily, without a close second. And I'd say it's probably my second or third favorite camera to use. It's up there with the, the Bronica S2A and my Sony a7 IV. And the Pentax K1. Like, that's, for me, that's very, very high praise. So I've been looking at the ACN vault version 2 for a while. It showed up. I ordered it, and it showed up. Oh, shit. <laughs> ah. I ordered it, and it showed up uh, two minutes before I started making the cameras and coffee today. So, Ghibellini ACN version 2. Certificate of Authenticity right here. Wow, serial number 30. That is the lowest serial number on any piece of camera gear I've ever had. Gloves for handling it. That is very nice. The, the, and here is the ACN2. This has been a very long time coming. In fact, the only things I've ever owned that are more expensive than this camera are three of the five cars that I've owned. So... Here, whoa, sorry about that, Steinbeck. Oh, sorry, Steinbeck. Here is the ACM. And, oh, thank you, Alessandro. Okay, so I'm going to show you something Alessandro did for me. I emailed him right before I bought this, and I said, hey, man, um, I know that the, the ACN version 2 has one arm on the side right here for the back support, and then it does not have one on this side. I said, look, I go out in the mountains in Colorado. It's not uncommon for us to get 30 to 60 mile per hour winds, sometimes out of the blue. And for, for the added rigidity, which I know it doesn't need, but can we get, can I, can I get it special ordered with an arm on the other side? He said, sure thing. He said, it really doesn't need it. And I know he's right, but um, we get ridiculous winds here. And also I'm a little bit OCD and I like things symmetrical, but really this is for support for, for, um, hard winds up on the mountains. This is such a step up design-wise from the Proxima. Okay, so I'm looking here, like the Proxima, one of the, that I have one of the issues is, is these metal arms sometimes uh, will slide off. They're just a little bit short, but there's a, a notch and a, a tooth here to hold those in place. And that's gonna do a really good job of preventing that on this camera. I'm really happy with that. The carbon fiber sides, really nicely milled components. The uh, Proxima does not have a strap right here to hold it in, to hold it shut. That's uh, this this uh, bit here. This is a very nice addition. Also, this has markings on the standards on the front here to help with alignment. I had to hit pen draw my own in on the Proxima, which is fine, but um, they're ugly. But these are going to be precise and gorgeous. So I'll tell you what. Without further ado. And compared to the Proxima video, I should be able to uh, actually open this camera without binding up the bellows this time. All right, so we're gonna open up the uh, ACN version two here for the first time. And to open it, we're going to loosen. If you have one of these, you'll only have one of these screws, but also this is really good to show you how to do it. We're gonna, oh, haha, -ha, undo the strap here on the front. There we go. Loosen these knobs. Now we can set it up. There we go. Next thing we're going to do to open it is we're going to extend the front, the, the base right here. We're going to loosen these knobs here on the front standard and push this backward. Now we're going to loosen these knobs on the which on what will be the bottom of the, the front standard here. And we're now going to 
tilt this up and you want to make sure that the end of these the, the, what is the top of the front standard here clears the bellows so tilt this up tighten the bottom tighten the bottom which way is the correct way that one now we've got the front here we're going to zero it out Oh, that is nice looking. Okay. Now, bring it back to the zero position here. And you can see the uh, unfolded size. If we take the bottom here, we can slide this guy way forward. And we can slide the front by undoing, by loosening these two knobs here way back. And this, this is an amazingly short focal length for uh, a 4x5. This looks like that's going to be about 50 millimeters. Um, I forget what the spec is on this, what the minimum focal length is. So this is as, as min small as the focal length can get, or as, as small as the, the, ex the, be the bellows extension. I did not get the bag for this, by the way. So it is strictly going to be uh, with the standard bellows. Then we'll go out as far as we can, and we'll start here by doing this bit of back extension, which is a nice improvement versus the Proxima that I have. Now we'll extend the front all the way. I want to say that this goes out to around 500 millimeters. So uh, a heck of a lot of bellows extension is built into this camera here. So we've gone from the, I don't even know if you guys can see this, the whole thing, but this is the, the full extension. Okay. so bring this back to something a little bit more normal and let's see how much movement we can get we're going to start with rear and we can tilt it pretty far forward it's bellows limited for the forward tilt and for the rear tilt come on there we go we get I don't know it's pro I forget that again didn't check the specs before this but that looks like it's around 8 or 10 degrees which is more than I've ever used with back tilt, and I don't know too many people who have used that much in the first place. So uh, here we go, we've got that zeroed. There's a nice zero to tent right there. Okay, so what about front rise? Front rise looks like it's at first blush kind of modest, right? Because it's, it's not that high. However, if you think that, you're not really being all that creative. We'll bring this around here again. We'll get this guy kind of bellows limited forward. And this right here is a kind of front rise that you could do if you had an 11 by 14 lens on the front of the camera. So uh, there is way, way more movement built into this camera than uh, I am ever going to need, that's for sure. And so in terms of machining quality, I mean, obviously it's going to be uh, amazing. Never had a doubt about that in my mind. Um, first, first glance here, I, versus the Proxima, there's a new interface here on the back, which we've seen, right? And in addition to having that extra additional slide in and out, you can use this to do your tilts as well. Uh, shifts, don't see any back shifts, but Quite frankly, that should be fine. I've never once used a back shift, so I wouldn't worry about that. There are front shifts, so front shifts and back shifts pretty much do the same thing. So I'll put this back here to zero it out at neutral. And these knobs here on the bottom, I don't know if you can see that or not, I think so but they have these little like caps on them and the caps have lines uh, molded into them which show how to line it up for neutral. Really nice detail. These arms here are carbon fiber and that's uh, really nice, uh, really nice rigid material. It's, it feels fantastic, very well machined. All of the aluminum parts also feel very, very well machined uh, and just look incredible. I mean, expect nothing less from from Ghibellini, quite frankly. Uh, the back rotates. Here, I'll show you how to do that. We're going to slide 
these clips outward and now we can remove the back and we can put it in this way here and I honestly don't trust myself to do this blind and let go of the back right now <laughs> so let's see if I've I feel like this is not lined up properly There we go. Okay. So there, now we've rotated the back to be portrait orientation instead of landscape orientation. Another really nice feature here that is added since the Proxima. If you look here in, in the, the lens board, lens mount area right here, there's this uh, ridged uh, bit around the front of it to help prevent light leaks. On my Proxima, uh, I had to paint the inside of it black and then I got a custom foam piece laser cut to go inside of here to, to do the same thing that this is doing to prevent light leaks because I was having issues with light getting around the lens boards and into the bellows and causing uh, uh, issues with flare and washout and some bellows, some bellows flare as well. Um, so, so this is a nice, nice addition right here. Another thing I'm noticing now is you can see the, the scales here on the front of the standard. Those are also present on the back of the standard, so I can just adjust this and I can know, without having to go to the front of the camera, how much I've raised it, and I can also get it perfectly zeroed out again just by standing at the back of the camera. So, uh, having used this, and then I've used a handful of 4x5 cameras now. This, a couple of monorails, three monorails, yeah, three, Cambo and Calumets. Um, Anniversary graphics, speed graphics, the Intrepid 4x5, the Intrepid 8x10, same, same interface. The reason I went with this is honestly the build quality and the interface quality on it. Uh, this is an amazingly easy to use camera. And this, the build on this uh, really far, I mean, I expected it to be good. It far exceeds my expectations. This is amazing. Carbon fiber base, everything's expertly milled and coated. And honestly, with the bellows matching the leather here, that looks absolutely staggering. So thank you very much, uh, Alessandro. He did not give this to me. I paid full price for it. Just want to make sure that everyone's clear on that. Um, thank you very much, Alessandro, for sending this over and holding on to it for a couple of other days so it wouldn't arrive while we were out of the country. And uh, this is, this is quite, the, quite the camera. Very excited to use it. Thank you everybody for watching and I'll see you in whatever video comes out next.